the acceptance that we are human beings who will feel differently each day, who need to get to know ourselves on a deeper level and know what we need day to day, know that it will change, know that we're not always going to be perfect and be okay with that. Be content in knowing I know myself, I know what's going to make me feel my best and I know I'm going to change sometimes and that's okay. I am the biggest fan of clean, plant-based companies that stick true to whole foods and no harmful fillers or ingredients. That is why I'm so excited to continue partnering with Verb for this video. Verb bars are the perfect size, quick, anytime snack that gives you a punch of true energy and is made of only wholesome ingredients like oats, agave, and almond butter. Their flavors are the best I have ever had, like maple blueberry, salted peanut butter, vanilla latte, and coconut chai. Each bar is infused with organic green tea, which gives you calm energy with no jitters or crash. I keep them in my car, my purse, and stocked in our pantry. They are the best pre-run or workout snack, and great for hiking, too. Verb is now offering you guys their starter kit for just $12. The kit includes one full bag of 12 bars in any flavor of your choice, and four sample bars so you can try all the flavors to see which is your favorite. So I wanted to add on to this video and talk a little bit about intuitive eating um, and I have a handful of questions that you guys asked me about intuitive eating that I figured I would go over. They're really great questions. As usual, you always ask the most amazing questions ever. So I'm going to quickly go over that just to give this video a little bit more of a purpose. So to me, intuitive eating is first off the acceptance that we are human beings who will feel differently each day, who need to get to know ourselves on a deeper level and know what we need day to day, know that it will change, know that we're not always going to be perfect and be okay with that. Be content in knowing I know myself, I know what's going to make me feel my best and I know I'm going to change sometimes and that's okay. And that two, generally intuitive eating means following your heart and your mind. So it's almost following what will make you feel your best most of the time. You just want that general idea of trying your best every day to do what will make 
make you feel your best, which is mostly eating enough and eating, you know, mostly healthy whole plant-based foods. But intuitive eating also goes with what you enjoy. So while you're paying attention to making sure that you're eating enough for yourself and eating the right foods most of the time and aiming to make yourself feel your best, you also want to follow what tastes good to you. That is a huge part of intuitive eating, enjoying your food thoroughly because you choose it, you choose what you like, making sure that what you're eating is satiating to you on both a mental and physical level. So the first question is, how do I find foods that work for me when first beginning plant-based slash intuitive eating? So I'm gonna be honest, with plant-based and with intuitive eating, it is trial and error. You're gonna have to go through um, you know, some base recipes. Uh, you should start very minimal. If you do follow my program or have my eBooks, I have over 30 recipes in there that are my base recipes, the recipes that I started out with. They cover an array of sweet and savory foods. And then from there, you and I branch out and try and find exactly what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what you enjoy most, what makes you feel your best. Um, and this can do a lot with digestion, what makes you feel satiated mentally, meaning like what your taste enjoys. <laughs> Basically how it works is you tell me what you're craving, what you desire, what you're after, how you wanna feel, what your problem areas are, and we really just cater that to you. And by the end, you have your own arsenal of base recipes that you can then branch out on. The next question is, how do I stop eating so much junk food when trying to eat intuitively? My mind always wants junk. Okay, so this one, I think there is a few different reasons that this happens to a lot of people. So you might still be under eating or holding on to some dieting habits from your past subconsciously. You might even not be aware of it. And this in turn will make you crave junk food at some point. So if you are still holding on to a little bit of under eating or some old habits with food that are restrictive, um, your body is going to lash out and want to eat junk food. You're always going to go for the highest, most calorie dense foods and most of the time that's junk. You might just need some time to eat abundantly, almost overeat, fill up on the good stuff so that your body can come to that safe space. You want to get yourself completely out of where you were before with food and into this new mindset of safety and security and happiness and contentness. Um, and satiation, basically. Another reason you might still be craving a lot of junk food, even if you are eating enough, is that you are very used to the hyper palatable foods that you were eating before. So that means heavy, heavy MSG, heavy fried foods, um, you know, refined sugars, refined flours, they are addictive in the same way that any other drug is addictive. Um, and it does take time for the body and the taste buds to adjust. So if you just give yourself two or three weeks for your taste buds to readjust to everything, then you'll be in the clear. Most of the time what I like to tell people is to stick to a lot of sweet, sweet fruit. So do a lot of super ripe sweet fruit. Eat that abundantly while you're trying to get off like the heavy fried and uh, salty foods. Um, and that way you are catering to that super sweet um, you know, almost hyper palatable, but in a healthy way. Um, and then, you know, within two or three weeks, you'll adjust. You won't even miss the, the heavy fried foods and the heavy salt. Because your palate has adjusted, it will almost be undesirable when you do end up eating something super salty. But just know that that will not last forever so long as you cater to your healing. So whether that be healing your taste buds and readjusting, or whether that be letting go of your old habits and restrictions. All right, the next question, how much junk food can I eat while eating intuitively and plant-based? So first off, I just want to say that we want to veer away from that idea of um, setting a set amount of times that you can or can't eat junk food, that cheat meal, that treat meal, that, you know, idea that you can have, you know, certain junk food items at a certain time or that you deserve it because of X, Y, Z. So we want to X out that mentality entirely with junk food. So you want to revert back to that using your heart and your mind mentality. I want to feel healthy, vibrant, energetic so I'm going to eat healthy vibrant energetic foods um, most of the time again so just reverting back to the fact that you want to follow your heart and your intuition in saying I want to feel good so I'm going to eat good foods most of the time what you want to aim for is the sort of mm, I don't care about junk food mentality the uh, I'll have it sometimes you know if I want to try a new restaurant or try a new product or something like that perfectly fine. You could have junk food five times a week. You could have no junk food for a whole month. 
Either way, what I want you to do is follow your intuition. So let's say one week you find that you have eaten a lot of junk food. Every day you're eating a lot of junk food, you're going out to eat a lot, maybe you were on vacation and you just, you know, didn't have the time to make your own food or whatever it ends up being, but you realize your intuition, your inner self tells you, I feel like crap. I really don't feel good right now. What you can do is say, I'm going to use my intuition to put in that effort to get back to feeling better. I want to get back to feeling happy and vibrant, so I'm going to eat vibrant, healthy foods. So having that mentality of being able to not really care how much or how little junk food you have and really just aiming for that, I want to feel good. I want to feel happy and healthy idea is key. This won't happen overnight. You're not going to go from eating a ton of junk food to all of a sudden being like, oh, I don't care about junk food but slowly working on it and slowly feeling better and better each day, eating more and more plant-based meals, you will get the idea of it. And then you'll have your aha moment where you've been eating plant-based for let's say two or three weeks for the most part. And then, you know, you eat some junk food or some animal products or something and you feel like death and you're like, whoa, that's why I went plant-based because I feel so terrible when I'm not eating healthy. This happens to most of my clients that I have. They have their aha moment at some point and they're like, hey, like I ate X, Y, and Z and I felt like I was dying the next day. I am so glad that I started eating plant-based. I can't wait to get back to eating my plant-based foods again. It sort of makes you realize that the hyper palatable junk foods are not worth it um, in the long run. You get a taste on your tongue for 30 seconds, but then you feel like crap for the whole entire next day. Whereas you can have something very similar that's plant-based and not feel like crap and feel amazing and eat abundantly and not feel guilty or shamed or afraid that you're gonna have a stomach ache or anything like that. Okay, and the last question that I wanted to go over what would the first step to eating intuitively be? I would 150% say it would be finding your faults. So by that, I don't mean sitting there and picking yourself apart and bullying yourself. I just mean be honest with yourself. Find your biggest faults, fears, habits around food. What is holding you back from feeling your best? What is your biggest deterrence from being intuitive? Is it because you dieted a lot before? Is it because you're in a bad eating pattern with junk food? Is it because you were raised eating a lot of junk food? Um, there's a hundred different things that can go on, a um, hundred different reasons, a hundred different patterns and habits that people carry with food. And the biggest problem is when you're just not honest with yourself. So be overly honest with yourself in what your problem areas are and that is the first step to in, to intuition in general is having that moment of oh this is what i'm doing that isn't intuitive that is holding me back from being intuitive when you find those root problems it makes it a lot easier to tackle them and you can tackle them slowly over the course of several weeks months it could take you two years no matter what it is as long as you start out with being honest they say this in a, you know any sort of addiction or any sort of unhealthy habit that your secrets keep you sick that meaning whether you're keeping the secrets from yourself or others or hiding something from yourself or others it's going to keep you sick. If you lie to yourself or lie to people around you, it's not going to make anything better. You're not going to be able to do any healing. Sharing is healing. Being honest is healing. So by letting go of that idea that you need to internalize all of the things that are going on with yourself, um, that would be the very, very first step to intuitive eating. From there, you can tackle it and tackle those problem areas alongside with starting to eat more and more plant-based, switching over slowly and efficiently in a way that makes you feel good and happy and healthy. Um, so that, that would be the first step, I would say, is find your faults and be honest with yourself. All right, guys, I hope you really loved this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me any comments down below if you want. And if you're interested in going plant-based, you can visit StellaTheLight.com and hit the Contact Me button. Tell me your story and why you want to go plant-based.